Hello, I'm Svetlin Nako from Soft Tuning Global, and I'm here for the next episode from my Dev Concept series. In this episode, I will explain the concept of unit testing, which is basically an automated testing approach where developers write small programs which are called scripts, uh, uh, tests or testing scripts to check whether certain components of the software, like classes, functions and methods, work correctly, which means to work in the way we expect them to work. I will demonstrate you with a simple code example how you can write and run simple unit tests in JavaScript. You will see how unit tests run and how they allow you and help you finding bugs and prevent bugs when developers modify the code. Finally, I'll be talking about unit testing frameworks, such as JUnit, NUnit, Mocha and others, which are software tools that simplify uh, the testing process, structure the unit tests and automate writing and executing and also managing the unit tests. To illustrate the concept of unit testing and testing frameworks better, I'll show you a simple web demo that you can explore to fully understand how this concept works. So, are you ready? Let's start! Unit testing is an important concept and practice in software development. Unit tests are pieces of code that test specific functionality in certain software component called unit. Unit tests are written by developers, not by QA engineers. Unit tests are part of the production source code. They aim to improve the code quality, reliability and maintainability. This is a simple, uh, a simple example to illustrate the idea of unit testing. We have a function which sums the elements of given array of numbers. We want to test this function, but not by hand. We want to write code which confirms that this function works correctly. In this example, uh, we can see how we can test the sum function. We write a function to hold the test classes the test cases. This is the first test case. The first check. It checks whether the sum of the two array elements 1 comma 2 is 3. If the execution result is not as expected, the function will fail with an error message. The second check test, uh, tests whether the sum of the array holding a single element minus 2 is minus 2. The third test checks whether the sum of an empty array is 0. This example is just a simple way to illustrate the concept of unit testing. Don't follow it as back practice, it's not, it's, it's not. It combines multiple test cases in a single test function and this is a bad practice. But the idea of unit testing is clear. Unit tests execute the code with sample input data and entrance conditions and check whether the returned result, exit conditions and behaviors are correct. Unit testing is usually performed within a unit testing framework which organizes and structures the test consistently. Unit testing frameworks simplify, structure and organize the unit testing process. Unit testing frameworks execute the tests and generate reports.
unit testing frameworks uh, developers of the unit of the framework developers use the framework to structure the tests to organize uh, them in hierarchy using cases and functions to assert the execution results and exit conditions for correctness to handle some specific situations like expected error or expected timeout and to automate some aspects of the testing process like initializing the testing environment startup and cleaning it up at shutdown. Examples of unit testing uh, frameworks are the Mocha testing framework for JS and the JUnit testing framework for Java. This is an example of how the test cases from the previous example can be structured within the Mocha framework. Uh, for JavaScript, we first include the required libraries. Uh, then we define a test suite. This is a group of related unit tests. Within the test suites, we define our first test. It holds uh, a function to check whether the sum of the array 1 comma 2 is 3. The second test follows the same syntax. It checks whether the sum of the array minus 2, a single element, is as expected, minus 2. Similarly, the third uh, test checks whether the sum of an empty array is zero. That's all. When we run the tests, we see a text execution report like this shown on the screenshot. I don't want to go into deeper details. The concept is well illustrated. Perhaps I need to mention that unit testing has not only its technical side, to use correctly the testing framework and libraries. It has also the engineering side to decide what and how to test. Unit test writers usually follow the AAA pattern, arrange the input data and entrance condition, act, execute the function for testing and assert whether the results and exit conditions are as expected. Testing usually covers the straightforward case, the typical case of the function, the edge cases, such as empty array or negative numbers, testing for performance, error handling, security, etc. Testing should be enough to find the bugs and potential problems and not too much because it takes time to write and maintain the test cases. Tools for measuring the so-called code coverage can give a good sign whether a function uh, is tested enough or not. Developers should be familiar with unit testing and test automation, even junior developers. We shall learn in detail the concept of unit testing and how to use unit testing frameworks, how to write efficiently unit tests and integration tests, how to use tools like code coverage and mocking in the advanced programming training modules at SoftUnit. Now let's see the process of unit testing with the Mocha framework with the wife code example. We open the link to the sample project at repo with. It takes some time to load, as usually. The file 
index.js uh, holds the function we want to test. The file index.test.js holds the unit tests. We run the example. The output is colorful report on past and failed tests. One of the tests seems to have failed an empty array test. If you look at the code of the sum function, we shall find the problem. It starts from the element at position zero, which does not exist in empty arrays. We can fix the bug and run the tests again, but I shall leave this exercise for you. Did you like this lesson? Do you want more? Join the learners community at softuni.org. Subscribe to my YouTube channel to get more free video tutorials on coding, dev concepts and software development. Get access to more free dev lessons and learning resources for developers. Get help from mentors and meet other learners. And it's all free. So join now softuni.org. Also, check out my other videos from the Dev Concept series where I explain and demonstrate many concepts and technologies from the software development profession. Type in the comments below what topics you would like to see next. Goodbye, see you in my next video.